The jobs pay well. They have grown nearly 80% over the decades, but many of them are vacant. We are talking about jobs in STEM. WFMY News 2's Avery Powell shows us how Guilford County Schools is getting students interested in this field with a new lesson plan. Guilford County Schools wants students to have a better understanding of how STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math can, can impact their life and multiple school subjects. Now they're getting creative with some new methods of teaching in the classroom. It's playtime and learning time at Moorhead Elementary School in Greensboro. We're using these STEM kits that Guilford County Schools um, purchased in order to um, put math and science together and also just to help students work on cooperation. These fourth graders are learning how momentum and mass affect speed by building Lego bobsleds and tracks. So I think that a lot of children, it's hard to synthesize what you're reading from reading from a text, especially children this age need to be able to experience it. Like if I say, okay, momentum, they just write it down. Most of them will comply and do it, but they don't necessarily know what that means. All GCS elementary schools, kindergarten through fourth grade, have these kits. It's just one piece of the district's efforts to integrate STEM studies into multiple subjects. One of the goals of the STEM department is to really ensure that STEM isn't something that's segregated in a science class, that it's something seen um, throughout content areas, so that it's kind of a way of life um, and that students see that it's a way of life. It gets students like Ben Adachi excited for class. School is way more fun with if you get to learn it by using Legos or doing something fun. Another way STEM education is being brought into class is by teaching students the water cycle, but having them learn it through computer coding.